Welcome to Electron Line. Next, let's talk about the parallelogram. By definition, the parallelogram has four sides and opposite sides are parallel to one another. Now, to find the perimeter of a parallelogram, we have the long sides, let's call them L, and we have the shorter sides, let's call them W. And then the perimeter, just like for a rectangle, will be twice the long side plus twice the short side. The area, however, will be found by taking the product of the long side at the bottom, in this case it's the base here of the parallelogram, and multiplying it times the height. The height is the perpendicular line starting from the long side at the bottom here to the point where the long side at the top and the short side on the side here meet. Of course, you can draw the line anywhere you like, but it's typically drawn right there. Now notice why the area would be the length times the height. If we chop out this little piece of the parallelogram and we move it over here, we then have ourselves a rectangle where this will be the length and this will be the height. So you can see that that does make a lot of sense. Now you have to be cautious here because if they only give you the length of the long side and the length of the short side, in this case we call it W, you cannot find the area. Notice here, if only L and W are known, you cannot find the area of the parallelogram. You must also know H or the angle at which the angle between W and L. If you know the angle, you can figure it out as well. And if you know the height, you can figure out as well. Typically, they will give you the height so you can find the area. Let's do a few examples and see how that works. Our first example, we're given the length of the long side and we're given the height. That means we can't find the area. And so the area is going to be the length times the height. In this case, that will be 15 for the length, 4 for the height. So that would be 60 square units. However, if they're asking you for the perimeter, you cannot find it by only knowing the length of the long side and the height. You also need to know the length of the short side, w, or you cannot find the perimeter. So this will remain an unknown. In our second example, we're given the length of the long side and we're given the length of the short side, l and w. Now you can't find the perimeter because you know both L and W. So in this case, that would be equal to two times the long side, which is 15, plus two times the short side, which is six. So that gives us 30 plus 12 or 42. However, as we said before, if they're asking you for the area, since they only gave you the length and the width, and you don't know what the angle is here, you're not going to know the height and therefore you're not going to know the area. The area in this case will also remain unknown like the perimeter was remain unknown in our first example. So in this case the length of the long side the length of the short side are given you can find the perimeter but not find the area. In this example where the length of the long side and the height was given you can find the area but not the perimeter. And that's how we deal with parallelograms.